How's it going today folks? I'm Steven here. We're doing a smoke screw adjustment on the old 12 valve today. Um, well, I've already had the AFC off. There is a tamper proof screw on the back of it. That's going to, well, prevent you from doing the job we're looking at doing. So your best bet is to remove the AFC. It's going to be, let me get up on my chair here, four bolts. There's one, two there. And up top, there's three, four. One is going to be a flathead screw. And the other one's going to be another one of those tamper-proof. Um, there's multiple ways to get that tamper-proof out. Um, I decided in this video I'm not going to show it because there's about a million other videos on YouTube and you can look at the forums. Um, everybody has a different way. Depending on your skill set and the tools you have, it's going to change how you do it. Um, but anyways, without further ado, we're going to jump into the smoke screw. So, the smoke screw, although called a smoke screw, is not only for just that. Um, loosening up the smoke screw is going to give you more, I want to call it, or well, no, I guess you can call it no boost fuel. So therefore your turbo is going to spool quicker if you have it set just perfect. Um, but if you just crank it up, or well, pull it out all the way, sorry. You're just going to have a gutless turd that blows a lot of smoke, or you put it all the way in. You're just going to have a gutless turd. Um, so, I'm not in it for the smoke. This truck is used for a lot of towing um, and daily driving fun. So, I'd rather not have a lot of smoke and have more of the power aspect of it. So, that's what I'm in. Or, or, yeah, that's, sorry, that's what I'm working at today. Um, so... First thing we got to do is remove that back cover. Let me just grab a little Allen wrench here. Because the bolt that actually Dodge uses is going to be, yeah, you probably can't see it from that angle, but it is has little holes in it. So you can almost jam something in there to turn it. Um, mine's only finger tight. Like I said, when you have your AFC off to remove that lock bolt, or well, tamper proof, you might want to just get that guy or either leave it out or you know put it back in only hand tight or just a little bit of torque on it. Just so it's easier for when you remove it. So give me a moment here while we get this protective cover off. Okay, so this little guy right here you're seeing be a protective cover that's going to cover the smoke screw up um you don't need it although i'm going to put mine back on just to keep all the shit out of the smoke screw um if you don't put it on it's not going to hurt it there's nothing in there per se to hurt so let me grab my 10 millimeter wrench here um couldn't find my good craftsman one if you say you're going to consider craftsman good anymore but that's irrelevant to the point so I'm going to get back here, just going to loosen up this lock nut, or I'll show you the smoke screw first. See right on the back of the AFC housing, there's that little bolt and nut right there. That'll be your smoke screw. So, you're just going to loosen up the lock nut. Again, righty tighty, lefty loosey. Okay, so now that your lock nut's loose, if you're looking to be a gutless turn with no smoke, you're going to put it all the way back in towards the truck so it'll be righty tighty. And if you're looking for, I want to call it lots of power, um, but if you're looking to tune it up and get, or, or get a lot of smoke, you're going to go out towards the cab. Um, so if you're going for a lot of smoke, and no power till you're high up in RPMs, but you're gonna blow a lot of coal, or roll a lot of coal, I should say. Take it all the way out towards the cab. You're gonna use a three millimeter Allen wrench. But for the sake of this video, I'm only gonna go out about a turn and a half, two turns, just to try to boost my, th or bump my throttle up. Um, so it's gonna be a three millimeter hex key on the very end of this guy. Come on. Thing. 
going to set the camera down here. All right, I got the bitch about hand tight. Just gonna back it off by hand. You're gonna start to turn that lock nut in so that you're gonna get max, well, you're gonna get it to stay where it needs to be. So, that's about where I'm gonna tune mine. It's only out about a half, or only out about a turn um, for now. Cause then under that little cap you see there, I'm sure you've seen it in about a million other videos. It's going to be the star wheel. That is going to be your mid-range boost. Um, again, turn it all the way up. You're putting a lot of fuel to it at mid-range. So you're just going to be, a, or, well, it's not going to be gutless, but you're going to have power and a lot of smoke. Or you can tune that guy, or either towards the engine or back towards the engine to pull fuel out of it at mid-range. And that's when you're going to get the good turbo response and all of that that we're looking for in our 12 valves. Or at least us that use them every day for daily driving want to be efficient and want to have power. So, give me a second while I tighten all that up. I'll give you a nice view of my yard one more time. Okay, so the issue I'm running into here is um, Dodge and their Infinite Wisdom put about a metric ton of thread locker on there so that you can't mess with it. So, I don't know if you can see the red there. But um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to break that thread locker loose. And then we're going to go back to doing what we were doing there. So, without further ado, let me continue. Okay, so smoke screw or, well... The fuel screw, pre-boost fuel screw, I should say, is back in the truck. Um, I'm going to throw that cover back on. Then we're going to go for a rip up the road, and we're going to see what she does. So, be back with you folks in a moment. Okay, guys, it's 32 degrees here in New York. Um, wait to start light just turned off. This is the first start after turning up the fuel screw. So, let's see what she does. Just as always, fires right up. Um, doesn't matter how cold it is. Let's see if we can get this shit off the windshield. This is why you got. Or, sorry, this is why you buy the good Rain-X defroster stuff, as I do. Um, not defroster stuff, but shit, windshield washer fluid. Sorry. Um, I can see good enough now to take a rip up the road. So, without further ado, let's take a rip. notice right off the bat the throttle does feel a good amount different um let me roll out my window here so we can get a view of the many cars coming down the road not seeing any none this way so we'll just go up the road once or twice we'll see what we get so in actuality my turbo should light a lot sooner now which it indeed does Truck a second to warm up before we refine it. <coughs> so I will be right. So what's up, guys? Um, got the truck starting to warm up here. It's not super warm, but it's warm enough to do a quick pull on it. Um, I don't think the well the fuel screw is out quite enough for what I want. Um, but that's a personal thing. So I'm gonna adjust that again on my own time. I won't make you guys watch it. But next thing I'm going to dive into is a little bit of the star wheel. Um, 
I won't show you that though because about every other YouTuber has, well not every other YouTuber, but every other um, Cummins YouTuber has done a video on that so I'm not gonna per se beat the dead horse there so there's that so give it a moment here we'll get get on the part of the road that's not a sheet of ice like every road is around here right at the second so let me see what we're gonna do She definitely does come into boost a little bit quicker. Um, the truck, that being said, only builds about 20 pounds of boost. I'm still relatively stock. I haven't played with the star wheel that much. I think, especially being at the beat or at the BD boost double, but I have a boost double adjustable. I think I can probably get that up into like the 25 range without grinding my fuel plate and doing a couple other mods. But that's all in the future and we'll be done and most of it I'll probably keep put or not keep on video but um put on video so I guess we're gonna call that that for the second and talk to you folks later